good windy Saturday morning. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy. So today we're going to be taking the 12 F-150 over to the sign and changing our wording. Because currently it says enjoy your summer, so we're going to change that up for a few months for the fall. So first things first, we've got to grab a ladder. In the wind, I was able to get the sign changed for our end of summer sale. That's right. It is that time of year where everyone's back to school and things are kind of back into a regular routine. What kind of a sale is this, do you ask? Well, it basically means that that car, that car, that car, that car, that car, that car, and that car are on sale, as well as that truck and that truck. What else is on sale, you might ask? The Fiat, the Toyota, the Mazda, the Hyundai, the Ford, the Chevy, the Kia, the Hyundai, the Kia. They're all on sale. So if you're in the area and you're watching this video and you're in the market for a car, come on by. Bill or myself, we would be more than happy to help you out. Okay guys, so although this is only Tuesday, you're watching this on Saturday morning. Well, if you're watching it when it goes up, maybe you're watching it Saturday night, who knows? Anyways, I've got some news. So coming up in two weeks, I am going to be taking the old Mopar to Rockwood Park in St. John, New Brunswick. It's only about 65 miles from here. And they have a car show and a chassis dyno. So I've been wanting to get my car onto a chassis dyno for probably as long as I've owned it. And especially now that I've got these new 321 gears on the car, I can't wait to get this thing on the dyno to see what kind of power she makes. I've always said I felt ahead between three and 325 maybe. Maybe it's a little bit more, maybe it's a little bit less. But on the 22nd of September, we're gonna find out just exactly. So I have prepaid as of today for my registration and the cost to get my car on the dyno and I am so excited to find out just exactly what we have to offer. For the most part it's bragging rights but at the end of the day it might not be anything to brag about. So as we get ready to uh, prepare the car I'm going to be doing a, uh, a few things to it. We're going to try and get that carburetor tuned up a little bit more we're also going to change the spark plugs, make sure that they are brand new and ready to roll. We are going to top it up, as always, with Supreme Gas, um, which, which I do anyway. Uh, we'll do an oil change, make sure everything is good on the car before we send it up there and hopefully peek that sucker out maybe around, like I said, around 325 or so. Um, but I, I won't be disappointed if it's less. I'll certainly be excited if it's more. So. Uh, you guys will be along for the ride for sure. So good news today. Bill sold the 2009 GMC Sierra. Junior is just going down right now. The filler full of gas. And uh, that one will be hitting the road today. Okay guys, if you haven't noticed already, we are driving in the old Mopar. And what we're doing tonight is we're headed back to the shop after work. We're gonna do an oil change. We're going to put some new spark plugs in it and with that oil change we're going to be changing it from the basic red oil filter from CarQuest to a Wix type filter and when I say Wix type because Wix makes the Napa Gold filters and we're going with a Napa Gold. I find on a long trip with this car it's almost like the engine is starving for oil because 
at some point, what ends up happening is I get lifter noise. And it happens at high speeds, and as soon as you slow down, the lifter noise goes away. So we're going to do a couple of things. One of them is change that filter. We're also going to put a synthetic oil in it, Mobile One. And the other one is we're going to put a little bit more oil. Now this car only calls or shows five quarts of oil to full. I might put an extra half a quart in it and drive it for a little bit before we make our trip to Bangor to the car show and see how that works out. So we're going to be pulling into the shop here in just a minute and you're going to tag along. So what we've got is we've got Mobile One 10W30 synthetic oil, full synthetic. And we've got the Napa Gold filter. And these filters are made by Wix and proudly made in the USA. So let's change the oil. Okay, let's lower this thing down, put the oil on it. So one of the other things that we're going to do is we're going to change the spark plugs out in this thing. The last time I did spark plugs was a couple years ago. Uh, the car was hitching a little bit, pulled them out, and they were fouled up pretty bad with a brown looking carbon which tells me they were, it was probably burning some oil. Um, we fixed a few things on the car since then and because we're getting ready for a special surprise in an upcoming video, I figured I'm going to change these over to what a lot of the Mopar guys were saying the Autolite 65s were probably the best choice of spark plug for a little bit better than stock 360 engine. So. This is what this is, this is what we're going to do. So there's the spark plug that I just took out. And it looks pretty good. Uh, looks like it might be running a little hot, but nevertheless, we are going to gap these new spark plugs and we'll get them in place. So we've got our spark plug gapper and we are going to gap these at the recommended, which I believe is 35 thousandths. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to gap it just like so, and away we go. So we've got the right hand side done, now we'll move on to the left side. One of the things I struggled with was a spark plug that did not want to thread in. And I accidentally cross threaded the first thread or so, but we're going to have to try and use it. So I'm going to try and clean it up with a tap, I don't look like anything that big, but we're going to move on to the other side. So I really don't know what happened to me during this video, forgetting to hit that record button maybe, but totally bailed on following up with changing the spark plugs and doing the oil change as you've been seeing in this video. I figured I'd come out in the garage and let you know what happened. So we got the spark plugs changed, uh, we got them all gapped and installed in the car, got the wires, plug wires back on the car with no problem. Usually I do manage to mess that one up and uh, everything fired right up, lots of oil in it and uh, we're ready for the car show I guess. One of the last things that I want to do and it's not going to be part of this video but we took the Kenwood stereo out of the Toyota Sienna van and 
we're going to put that into the Mopar and the reason why we're doing that is because that van had XM satellite radio capabilities and the one that I've got in the car now does not. So we're going to take that radio out, put it in this car and we'll have satellite radio for any time we go on a trip with the car. So that's generally an added bonus. So right now we are just finishing up. We're going to back the car out and finish off this video. buddy again trying to ruin my shop and by the looks of things he might be coming down to say hi so just in case I didn't record an outro either here it is guys thanks for tuning in and watching my stuff it's a lot of fun doing this for you guys the subscriber count is growing and don't forget if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet please do so now by hitting the subscribe button below and bell notification remember Always be focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. Guys, I love you. God bless. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next upload.